Hello, this is Julia Whitup with Talk Story TV, <coughs> and I have with me today author Jack Eden, who has written a number of books, and I will let Jack tell us about those. Go ahead, Jack, tell us about your books. Okay, I will do that. Um, I've written a really fun series called the American Drama Series. And that's seven books, and they are tied in with the seven deadly sins. Oh, okay. Okay, and the the hero sort of goes through each of the deadly sins and has something to do with learning about greed or envy or something. And all started in the womb. <clears throat> the hero is actually a fetus. Oh my, okay. And in the first book, he is a super twin, which means that in the womb, he's in there with another guy. Uh huh. And during the first book, envy is explored between the two twins. Okay. And then Marcus is his name, rose up and now he's twenty nine in the second book. And he's in a corporation and ends up going to Texas where he uncovers a decade old murder. Okay, so now, it's a uh, after he is possessed by the spirit of the dead man, he basically solves the murder and ends up in California as a photographer. That's book three. Okay, which and now which wait before we go any further, could you list the seven deadly sins? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> um, the first one is envy. Okay. And the second one is greed. Okay. The third one is commonly called sloth, but it's actually originally called Sadness or apathy. Okay, sadness or apathy. Or right. I always thought of sloth as laziness. Yeah, that's why it's really a bad word. Okay. It should be called sadness and then and the apathy. <coughs> and then after that is right. And then after pride is wrath. Wrath. Wrath, like hate or envy, or uh, wrath is anger or hate. Okay. And then, um, did I forget one? Is greed one? Greed is the single one, yes. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. That's the one I'm serializing uh, on the web right now, worldwide. Oh, and where is that happening? All over the world. Do you have it on a blog? Uh, it's on my website, and you can get a PDF sent from me on every chapter that I write. And what is the address of your website? Uh, com. Okay. And the link that we uh, wish to go to is the drama link. Okay. So go to jackeden.com. Right. And go to the drama link, and there yeah. will be. Before the drama, before the writing, 
I was a rock star. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> so don't think about the rock star. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So after wrath um, is less. <clears throat> is what? Less. Lust. Oh, that'll be an interesting uh, one. <laughs> and I have an arc over the whole seven books that brings it back to book one. It's a very nice series. It sounds fascinating. What inspired you to write these books? Uh, one night at midnight. I was in this, I was already written seven books, and I said, gee, I wonder if my books line up against the seven deadly sins. So I lined them up, and they did, except I didn't have one for envy. So I wrote a dream, which is the most recent one, and now I have seven that fit the seven that fit in. <laughs> okay, fabulous. It's, it's a cool series. How long did it take you to write that many books? Oh, my God. Seven books, it took me, I don't know, 20 years. Yeah, I've been three years trying to write one. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm in the process. Believe it or not, of rewriting them. <clears throat> oh, okay. Because I have the hero character, and now he's going to go through all the books. So it's a nice rewrite. All right. Okay. So that, and people can get a jump on that by going to your website and reading what you're writing. Uh, they can see the whole thing. I have little movies of the books, too. You so did? So able to see what the books are about. So you wrote a screenplay? I've written a screenplay, but what I'm seeing is the movies are little previews of the books. Okay. And like three minute previews. And did you get anybody to film those, make them into films? One producer said he really liked a consequence of greed, and then he left town. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Such it is with Hollywood. <laughs> Here today, gone tomorrow. Right. <laughs> so, are you, so you're going to rewrite all of those? Uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm doing that. I'm on chapter 20 of A Consequence of Greed. Okay. And if anybody would like to have chapters 1 to 20, write me. And where do they write you? Uh, they can write me at J E A D O N two at gmail dot com. So J A C K. No, no, no. no. Uh, email is J E A J E A D O N two D O N two D is in dynamic O N two. At gmail dot com. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go take a. Oops. I'm gonna write that down. Maybe you become a reader. I have people in France, and Singapore, and Canada, and all across the United States who are reading it. Right. How nice. Are you on Google Plus? I'm on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, but my website is really where to go. Okay. 
I'm just going to run over there real quick and take a look at your website. So it's a fun website. What else are you doing these days, Jack? I just moved my main house to the desert. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful house. And it is very inspiring to do writing there. <clears throat> I have a little courtyard and a fountain and a pool and a spa and palm trees. It's just really nice. Right, great. I see by your uh, website you have a, sounds like you have quite a story to tell about brain cancer too. I wasn't brain cancer, it was a brain tumor. A brain tumor, oh there's a difference, huh? It was a benign tumor that I got when I was born, but I didn't know about it until I was 27. Oh my. And then I saw a double one day. And I went to the doctor and he took in a uh, cat scan and he said, well, you have a brain tumor. And I said, oh my God. Yeah. Could uh, they take it out? I was, well, no, it's a, it's a recurrent benign brain tumor, which means <coughs> they can take it out. And then it grows back. Oh. So I've had five brain surgeries. And then it always grows back. Right. Except the last one. The last brain surgery, I had a world-famous neurosurgeon take the whole thing out. So that's the good news. But like Dickens said, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And what this guy did was he took out the whole brain tumor, but he also took away my swallowing. Uh-oh. So how do you eat? The uh, feeding tube. Oh, no. So you can't taste anything. Well, actually, here's what I do. I put chocolate in my mouth so I have some taste. Oh, that's nice because, gee. And I am a little pig with the chocolate, but you know, slowly the swallowing is coming back. So I'm really hopeful. It will within a year. So you might end up being able to swallow normally eventually. Oh uh, yeah. Now the doctor said it can take up to six years after an operation to regain your swallow. And for me it's been two. Okay. So I have some time left. So and you've gotten a little bit back, so that sounds good. I've actually gotten a lot back because a year ago, you wouldn't have been able to understand me at all. Oh, so you're getting... All, all my facial nerves were paralyzed, and so I couldn't really talk. And that we did give you me. <laughs> oh, I bet you hated that. I couldn't talk on the phone. People would just hang up. Yeah. And, well. And I've done three to six hours a day of exercising facial muscles. To build them back up. And slowly they come back. Good thing you're a writer. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>
But as I'm going to start doing some public speaking, too. You are? Uh, yes, I am. What are you going to speak about? I think subject will be, life is in the train. Life is... I, I, I mean it literally because... If you're trying, you're really experiencing life. If you're just coasting, it's like that movie Groundhog Day. It's one day lived over and over again. But if you live in the present, it's all new. And every day is. Trying something new, it really sort of keeps you going. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And I've noticed that if you can stay in the present, you will not get depressed. Depression is, a, is caused from looking back at the past or looking That's forward to the future. Yes. Have you read Tole? Who? Totally. Yes, yes. My favorite author. Oh, really? Yes. I read, I read him all the time. Meditative read and just pick it up and start reading. Yes, I keep his books beside my bed and I read them before I go to sleep at night. To uh, isn't that something? Well, small world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow, well, it was nice meeting you. Likewise. And thanks for being on our show. Sure enough. And I want to encourage everybody to go to Jack's website at jackeden.com com and uh, check out his books and if you want to go to the book site go to the drama link okay and go to the drama link right. okay and I'll add you to one of my gmail or my google plus circles and please do okay thank you Jack okay Oh, this is, how do I get a copy of the interview? I'll send it to you. Okay. It'll do be on... Have, do you have an address or do you send it? Uh, jeden2 at gmail.com. That's it. And uh, it will be featured on July the 8th. Oh, that's two days after my birthday. Oh, great. Okay, so it'll be t featured on July the 8th for a week at TalkStoryTV.com. Oh, that's great. TalkStoryTV.com. Talk on TV. Okay. Well... For a week. Okay. Yeah, so send people over there to see it. I, I will send people there. I promise you. Okay. Thank you so much, Jack. Okay. Thank you, Julia.